There we go. Hello, everyone. Uh, so... Did I miss upstairs? Michael with his duplicating uh, register. Very nice. <laughs> I don't think I'll try to repeat it, but... Well, we can. But uh, I can't scroll back up there. Oh, no, wait. Where, where is it? I boxed up my cash register, saved and quit, got back on, had the one in the box and then a new one. Oh, we can try. That's a, That sounds funny. I got everything backed up so we can give it a go. Let me see. Well, I don't have a new one, even though mine was boxed up, but we can give it an honest try. Oh yeah, that's right. I added some more shelves here. Okay, so we... Uh, can we... Guess we'll have to put it elsewhere. Hold on, that's... Not entirely sure what the, the circumstances were that, to make this work, of course. And hello everyone, welcome back to Supermarket Sim. I just thought that was an interesting... An interesting thing to just quickly test out and yeah gibbles i don't have nearly enough space to add more fridges i'm not going to be able to uh to give everything their own spot right now we'll get there uh. and then load back in Oh yeah, Caitlin, here, see? Toilet pepper paper has its own shelf. No. No, we did not magically get another... Worth a try. <laughs> it would have been nice. Yeah, no, Gibbles, I don't have enough space to add more fridges right now. I mean... I think I have an empty shelf somewhere. We could indeed like remove that one and add another fridge, but right now it's just not worth it. Alrighty, so last time we added uh, this little corner here. I moved the, the freezers here by the window. This is not the, the end layout though. But don't worry about that. I gave a couple of things to more space, like this 
cleaning tablet. The, the sugar has more space now. And instead of the freezers, I just added a single, a single shelf. If I get in real space trouble, I could move these shelves a little bit more together and add one more here to the back of it. Just like I have it here. It's just, it's going to be really, really tight if I do that. Plus I'll need to move all the lamps. So for now, I'll keep it like that. I don't really need any more space. Like these items now have their own shelf too. We have a couple of empty spots there, there, and there where we could put items eventually. So we'll leave it like this for now. The plan in the future is once we get those two blocks unlocked, which is a lot of money, to move the um, the registers uh, to buy the, I think we'll put them by the window. We could make aisles out of the freezers or we put the, um, the freezers here in the middle so that we still keep this open view. And I do like that idea. And then of course we can have more shelves that way. We'll probably give them a bit more space actually. Or we shove everything to the right there. We'll, we'll see how it goes. It depends a bit on how it fits. Anips, thank you very much for following. Oh, Julie, thank you for subscribing. Gaffin too. I see you guys did it just before the stream. I see Greg Mantina followed earlier today. Thank you, thank you. So hello, bud. I see you there. Oh, I'm scrolled up. Apologies. Mistress of Darkness, hello. There we go. There you are. Uh, Stefan says game needs a lot of work, but I'm enjoying it so far. Uh, yeah, there's a lot we could add to the game. Absolutely. Oh, hold on. Uh, let's see who else is here. Hey, Mickey. <laughs> Save it, box, and get on with it. Wow. Nice. Hey, Lexi. Toast. Hello, Rob. Thank you very much. Uh, someone has a cashier outside. Ooh, could we do that? Let me let me try that. Let's see. Uh, Mickey. You like mine best? Well, thank you. Hey, Kimi. Had a big storm last night. <laughs> With lightning, and your backyard looks like an F3 went through. Well, that's not good. Oh, you have less items unlocked. Well, trust me, Gibbles, you're gonna... You're gonna run against the space roadblock <laughs> at a certain point. Hey, Tony. Ah, there's the... Now there's a, more than 100 people watching and 26 like. So it, we're getting there. <laughs> Remember guys, even likes help a lot with getting found on YouTube. Yeah, so my and what we're going to do tonight depends a little bit on how fast we can level up. As you can see, we're almost level 41. We need level 42 for the next products. But we also need 16k for the next block. Whichever we hit first, I'm thinking it's going to be the products, but it's going to just simply be whatever we hit first. Because to add all those new products, I need space. I need shelving. Honestly, I'm going to need a double path for cleaning items soon. I might actually like put this one back on two shelves instead of four. We'll see how it goes. I would prefer to keep it like this, but we can always expand again later. All right, after buying all those shelves and the space upgrade, we have 1300 bucks left. I also bought a lot of the stuff. I gave more room, so a lot is already filled. I mean, like, we don't need more of this sugar for that shelf. That can wait. This milk is already full. So let's order what we do need. Okay, so the bills and the price changes are already taken care of, if I'm not mistaken. Now, there shouldn't be... I don't think we need any cleaning products. Because I basically give everything more space. 
Yeah, the, this is this is the only thing. I don't have any more space now to put these boxes. <laughs> uh, I think that's chicken under there. Yes. John, thank you very much for subscribing. All right, all right. So we don't need cleaning stuff. Well, let's check the freezers while I'm walking on them. Actually, I might be wrong. How am I on the... I do have some supplies. Um, give me one toilet paper. And like... Uh, freezer, one chicken. They, they cancel each other out. It's really... It's really weird, these, uh, these display uh, and categories and choices. Do we need the kit? Uh, no, you know what? We don't need them. We have two on, in storage, which I really haven't been touching, but we can. Let's be a bit more careful with the money right now. We don't have a lot. We need cheats. Specifically this one and the Mimoletta. Veal? Debating on when we need butter. How much is the butter? Oh, it's not expensive. Let's grab it. Uh, little eggies. Yeah, that's it for this one. Egg. Level 42. No, wasn't that level 40, 41? I, I don't know, Kiwi. Nah, thank you very much for following. And Matt says, watching from the UK. Hello. Okay, yeah, so we must sell, sell, sell to unlock new items. We need the sushi. Both of them, please, even though they're quite expensive. If needs must, I'll take a 750 loan. This can wait. This can... Uh, can this wait? It's empty. I think we'll be okay. I think the drinks will be fine. For a day. We'll order extra tomorrow. Uh, yeah, that's the fridge. Uh, yeah, shelf. I'm ordering a bit sparingly. No, not. All right, with coffee do we need? The yeah, one box of the light one will do. There you go. Tea is looking well, looking black, but it's it's full enough. The sugar is definitely good. The milk we already refilled. Ah, uh, that'll certainly last us a day. Well, will the chocolates? Uh, no. Not sure, so I'm ordering one. There you go. It's a bit low. We need honey cereal. Salt and pepper, yes. Boop, boop. It's the honey cereal. Oh, we're full. Did I? Yeah, got the cereal. So the salt and the pepper. I was trying to see if I could give the salt and pepper like, well, I, I could give them a whole shelf, but really we're going to be unlocking new items soon. They don't really need it. I can put two boxes on one shelf. It, it was a five member level. band. Um... Have I seen the pictures on the Supermarket Sim Discord about the boxes on the white shelf? No, no, I haven't seen them. But when I tested it, the only way I could get them on there was by throwing and then praying that it would land right, basically. Okay, we got the chips. More space as well. That's much better. Yeah, we're definitely going to need peanut butter and honey. I would love to give them more space, but yeah, we're gonna need it. Don't touch it, Nina. What are we gonna need here? Red flour. Definitely potatoes. 
No, that'll be fine. The red flower. Uh, potatoes, so that's one pack for the shelf, one for the store. We have 300 bucks left over. This is not an emergency. Let's see if we have one over here. I think we can order the oil though. Um, yeah, we definitely could use some rice and pasta and beer. Let's see how far we come. Uh, rice. Pasta. Those are generally very cheap. How's the because the beer is expensive, right? Um, no, okay, we can't. I think we'll be fine with the kegs. We do need the six pack. Let me set this up and then we'll check for emergencies. <laughs> but I think we have, uh, hold on, I want to get the other potatoes first. I think we'll get by on our shelf. If I keep an eye on it this afternoon, at least. You remember riding your bicycle to buy the cassette? What? Well, hey, King. King Vamp. Been here since episode one. Well, thank you. The hot cross buns. No, that doesn't ring a bell. Naga land. Nice. Uh, one guy is level 72 cat and dog food. Our oh, item is 10 bucks. Uh. <laughs> yeah, the, pr the profit margins don't make a lot of sense to me in the game. Because you would think that things with alcohol in it would have the biggest profit margin or things like sushi. But no, it's it's the damn shelf milk that has the biggest... Uh... <laughs> yeah, floof and woof food or aka doggos. And thank you everyone for over 50 likes already. Hello HLDN. Hello, I see you there. Um, wasn't who what yesterday, Pete? It's a British band. Well, we got a lot of stuff out uh, out of Great Britain, but I think I missed that one. But then, well, I had a cassette player. I remember more of the time that I had my disc man. It had anti-shock. It was really, really fancy. Got it for my birthday. That meant that it wouldn't skip every time you uh, you breathe. <laughs> no, you could just walk around with it without it skipping. It was pretty cool. Man, I listened to that thing a lot. You know, with the the, the few CDs I had, at least. Because they got me a disc man, but not CD, so I just had to save up for a long time to get one, very rarely. Maybe it's a good thing they didn't get me any. It's probably not my taste in music. It, it yeah, it is hard to uh, get some good money coming in. I also feel like it's going slower now than it did... Um, before the update, so basically Friday I played for the last, before the update. Uh, 
The thing is though that every time you do a big a big spending, so like I did with the space and then all the shelves, you have less money to fill up your store. So then later on you need to do a little catch up. Like you things that don't really need, you leave them be, right? But you need to catch up on that later, so it costs you more money later. They're using my store as a guide? Really? That's awesome. Oh. Guess my... Uh, my exact placement and everything pays up after all. Off. Pays off, I mean. <laughs> yeah, I, I have plans. Um, I'm honestly... I'm not sure... What do you guys think? So imagine the, the registers are here, right? I turn them 90 degrees. They're going to be one here, one here, like that. Do I turn the shelves 90 degrees? So they have the pots facing me instead of this. I mean, in practice, it doesn't really matter. I quite like the idea of having the freezers here. And then having the pots here so people can go in there. Or maybe have... Because normally the pots really end on the registers, right? Something to think about. We have a little time. Why didn't you get notified? I don't know. Did you have your bell turned on? And notifications on all? <laughs> Sorry. It's just such a standard slogan. I had to do it. Okay, let me finish this, then we'll open the store and we can do a, a little check on some last items. I have 200 bucks. Might be able to add some oil. We were, well, we weren't low on it, but we can certainly fit some more on the shelves. Okay, one item of like 22 bucks. I have no idea what we can't sort our money, right? It's such a shame. I mean, bread is really cheap. How much is the little bread? That one goes a lot faster. Sure, let's do that. There you go. Okay, so then what needs to go in the afternoon? That was the beer. We couldn't afford that. I don't think there's a lot we really have to order this afternoon. Since I gave much more items more space. Uh, maybe some orange flour, mashed potato. Pa uh, pasta. No, wait. I think that will actually came with this order. Yeah, that might just come in with this one. Okay, let's open up. little bit left over turn shelves this bad you won't be playing supermarket sim until add restockers i i can understand that yeah i play it as they're supposed to be played that's that is a thing for me yes because though at this point of the game it is very tempting to just just a little bit of money in one of those safe game alteration sites basically it is very tempting because it's a lot of 
repetitive work to get that money up. Oh, I forgot to... Uh, I forgot to give my beer more space. Hold on. Because, yeah, that was the plan. Okay, yeah. So let's add one more of that. And then we have more space for... Vodka? Oh, we need more than that. Oh no, sorry, mistaken. I thought we could fit the rest of the box there. There should be a floof alarm, but there, there is an alarm on the Discord. Well, there's an alert on the Discord. Cheating in this game would make it worth only five minutes. You're not wrong. But, you know, if you just add like 50k, it would allow you to get like those space upgrades. It would allow you to get some more products. There's, um, I think it's a balancing thing. This point in the game is really slow. They suddenly the space upgrades, uh, no, let me put it this way. The licenses are very suddenly um, uh, limited by my level, while before I always had a license to buy. Right now they're blocked by my level. And the, the, oh, the space upgrades are very expensive. Uh, in comparison to what came before. And we're not making so much money that it's the same amount in comparison. It is very much taking us much longer to unlock them. So I just think it's a balance thing. That they could make them a little, a little cheaper. I'm just checking to see what products we could fit a box on so I spend my day. Really? Already? Yeah. Honey, no. Okay, so we didn't get that flour in then. Orange flour and peanut butter. So what I meant to say is that usually when you continue on in a game, you know, you make more money, things get more expensive. It's pretty well balanced. Uh, I think I'm going to buy all the drinks in one go. We do need some beer. Yellow beer. Um, so basically the time it takes you to get to the next upgrade is the same. Maybe a little longer, but it's very close. Uh, oh, we can actually afford that already. Let's get it. Oop. But right now, this game yeah, slowed down a lot. It's not a really bad thing, it's just usually... Did I miss two boxes? It's okay, I'll find them. I'm never worried about really ordering too much or something, everything sells so quickly. Gordon. 160k for that last upgrade yeah I, d I don't know if we're uh, we're ever gonna make that <laughs> but uh, I would definitely like to have a bigger store yes hey Michelle no, I have three now. Uh, plus myself. Which I'll... If I have time, I'll jump in a little bit. Maybe I should... I should... I really need the points. Hold on. Eh, there you go. Hmm. 
Next. Yeah, they don't switch. <laughs> You don't sell your products. How fast do you level then? Because if people have a complaint, you lose a point of um, um, experience. Sorry. Yeah, but the thing is, Steve, it's not an. It doesn't work like a sale in this game. Items don't become cheap for a day and then go back to their old price, so you make more profit. And it's not how this game works. Hey, little uh, uh, little L80, hello, hello. You were sent. Who sent you? <laughs> how exciting! There you go, sir. Yeah, I still need to get the 1750 checkouts for the fourth cashier. Uh, it's going to take a while before I can hire them, but in the meantime, I can try to get to that 1750 checkouts. Oh, wow, having a party tonight? Vodka with milk. I guess if you add a uh, coffee liqueur, you get like a white Russian. Uh, this should really be with cream. Oh, we don't have any cream. Maybe it's making do. That's what we need. We need cream. Or whipped cream. Or something like that. Well. If you... Um, sell a lot less products. Yeah. The, everything goes faster. So yes, I could see how that would work. <laughs> Jolly Roger is a spy. Fair enough. Fair enough. No, we don't have any tequila. Pizza. Okay. Store is pretty empty. Small chance someone will come to my till. A bit closer with spaghetti. No, here. The new shelving system got me all confused. I mean, they're making profit, but they're not making any more profit than me, I don't think, Steve. They're, they're just buying a lot of goods and spending more time hauling boxes. I mean, of course, sometimes you get lucky and buy something, a lot of something, before it becomes more expensive, but... What would make more sense here is that something is on sale. So... You have, for example, uh, I don't know, the shampoo becomes cheaper one day. So you buy a lot of shampoo and then the next day it becomes more expensive. A1X. Watching from Ghana. Well, that's a, that's a long swim. For me. Um, how do people reach level 72? Uh, there's two ways. Either they don't sleep and they just, no kidding. Um, they just play a lot. Which is fair. I mean, I don't play outside of the streams. Um, because I have more to do. Or they use a cheat engine. Either way works. Uh, I check every morning uh, the pricing. Oh, there was one, one chicken in there. That's not going to help. Well, considering I did a big order this afternoon, we're not we're not doing badly on the money. Uh, yeah, let's do a box check. Twenty-eight 
12 hours played and level 72 then I'm 99% sure they uh, use the cheat engine to adjust their game because you can't get experience that quickly but I don't judge you can do whatever the hell you want <laughs> but don't go bragging about it because that's mean Wow, we barely sold any potatoes, toilet paper, chicken, didn't we? Oh, interesting. Anything over here? Yeah. And I hope I can... Uh... I had hoped, actually, that we would get space in the back and not to the side, but I can work with it. How about the butter? Well, I mean, if that's how you enjoy the game, giving yourself a lot of money and then... Uh... The reflection is actually really good in the game, isn't it? Well, it's a bit strong. I mean, if you look at the... Look at the, the till, the register. See how bright that is? Yeah. Bit, bit much. Okay, let's end the day. We're gonna need to order a lot of stuff for the fridge today. Dark roast. Oh, and coffee. We need coffee. Well, oh, that's bad luck then that it just went up in price. <laughs> Jolly Roger has a soothing voice. That Yeah, let's start with the fridge, I guess. Or the... No, let's start with the cleaning items. I like to start with the smaller sections. <laughs> Only thing we don't need is bleach. I... Freezer? One chicken and some pizza. This pizza. Rich. I have a soothing voice too. Well, that's good. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. I don't want to give people anxiety. Uh, yeah, I think there's like two space upgrades between the 43-ish and 40, the 53-ish customers. It, it's usually about 52, 54, somewhere around there. How am I keeping up? Uh, I do a whole lot of stuff while the timer is not running. <laughs> hey, Lilu. Hello. Okay. Uh, also, I have... Um, I have this thing that I put things in cupboards in my head and I open each cupboard at a time and I know exactly what's where. So that's also why I'm not shuffling so much and I'm focusing a lot on logic. For example, I have, well, I had, it's now a bit split up here, but I'll fix that later. Like all the rice and pasta is together, all the drinks is together. Uh, the potatoes are together with the flowers. Then we have the oils with the condiments. We have the jars together. Uh, the breads with the cereals. I mean, the only thing that's lost here is the salt and pepper. But that's also like, okay, we have lost items. Click, yeah, there. Coffee, tea, and sugar, candy, and cake all together. With like, this is basically coffee milk for me at this point. <laughs> We have the cleaning items together, so I can open a little box with, okay, what do, we, what do we need in the cleaning items? What do we need in the freezer? What do we need in cheeses? What? So, yeah, that's how basically... <laughs> so that's how I keep up. Sorry, I didn't look right. We need uh, Mimoletta, Mozzarella. Do we need this one? No. The green one, though. Comte. Not parmesan. 
I really need to move the hummus somewhere else. It's really hard to see if I need any. Sorry, we're full, but uh, I got the mimoletta cheese, so then we need the egg. And what's it called again? Oh, I forgot the name of the product. I know everything is, but um, scallops. St. Jacques are scallops. There you go. Didn't look good on salmon. Yeah, so we need, well, we basically need everything. Might even need two. All the drinks. Beer? Yeah, that too. And musica. Okay, water, milk, juice, juice, cola, cola, soda. Water? Order. Beer. Beer. Now where is the... There you are. Okay. Music back on. Fridge is done. Shelf. Do we have hummus? Oh yes, definitely. Lots of flavors even. don't eat it a lot but there's one with um i think it was sun-dried tomatoes which i quite liked um, yeah we definitely need a lot of coffee some brown and powdered sugar Brown. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do, can we fit? Yeah, we definitely can fit more chocolate on there. Let me see. Cake. Oh, did I get? Yeah, I got the bon papa. Okay, just this cake, candy, and then I lost track because I needed to order. Hold on. Uh, the chocolate. Yes. One moment. There. Corey, thank you very much for subscribing. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Rob. Hey, Ferran. What's the daily income? I'm not entirely sure. What, what is our daily, daily profit? Yesterday was about 3K, wasn't it? accident thank you very much for subscribing you hate youtube's messed up layout well i'm streaming on twitch as well if you don't like it uh, there you can uh... oh edgar could you uh hold on panda thank you very much for following uh edgar i know you're on uh, twitch as well do we have options now for quality because when i just started we didn't have that it was just 1080 uh 1080p we need a cereal oh well there it is handy should be very good yeah apparently it's a thing on twitch that uh that basically the 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 better you do while streaming, the more options you get. It's not the same for everyone. It's very interesting. Kojo, thank you very much for following. They have a very different mindset than YouTube. It's an interesting difference. Thanks, 1x. Both options for quality. Perfect. Must have... Uh, 
since I'm an affiliate now, which happened super fast for me, which I didn't expect actually. It must have been added then. I'm happy about that. Give people more options. <laughs> Kitties are having a stare off. I like to interrupt. Yeah, some more oil contour there. One moment, I got in my head what I need to buy. Uh, yeah, I have the oil. Okay, we still have money, so let's add some vodka. There you go. Funky Puff, thank you very much for following, and Crazy Chris as well. Thank you, thank you. Welcome on Twitch. Uh, Twitch randomly picks channels and gives them options. It's basically that partners definitely get the options. After that come the affiliates, but it's it it's basically first come first served. If there's bandwidth on their servers, you get it, and if there's not, bad luck. <laughs> you still get the quality, the best quality in which you stream, but not anymore. It's they don't give you options for people who might not have as good internet as some. We need. Uh, let me begin on this side. Do we need rice? No. We need two spaghetti and two pasta. And we need a six pack. There you go. And then just turn, type in pasta. One, two. One, two. Uh, no, sorry. That's the wrong one. That's the elbow. We need spaghetti. There we go. Okay, let's get this in here. Um, so, for your resolution, I stream at 1980, what is 1920,080p, 60 FPS. That's what I sent to Streamlabs. That's what Streamlabs sends to both YouTube and Twitch. That's basically how it works. Um, and then YouTube and Twitch, their servers turn it into other resolutions. Sometimes, when they feel like it. No, I had to turn that off. It's not allowed according to the Twitch, uh, the Twitch multicasting rules to show comments from other sites, including YouTube. Uh, but yeah, the funny thing is that the stream, when you're watching it live on YouTube, you can actually get it in all resolutions. But when it gets turned into a video by YouTube, it loses 480 and 240. And I don't know why. It's really weird. It's a <laughs> But it's only since I started multicasting, so it's... yeah. A little background information on the streaming life. Things happen sometimes and you have no idea why and, you know, it, it still works, so it's all good. Sell as little as possible for very high prices. You're not wrong. Unfortunately, if I turn the prices any higher, people refuse to buy it. Which, you know, fair enough. <laughs> Yes, I am on Twitch also, yes. I very recently added that since Twitch changed their rules. And why not? Yeah, exactly, Steve. So probably uh, because I'm affiliate now officially, I, I get like, you know more attention from them than when I wasn't. I'd, I can get that if, you know, if they're making more money from someone, give that person more options, I guess. And YouTube's like, oh, you're you're missing some info over, oh, we're, we're removing your options. <laughs> Doesn't that just say everything? Okay. 
Am I going to be excited about the new features? That depends completely on the new features, whether I'm going to be excited about it. I'm not going to be excited about a new packet of milk. I have to be honest there. But if there's a stalker, I'm definitely going to be excited about that. <laughs> oh, I missed. There you go. Exactly, Michelle. Stalkers. I always think, because I'm, I'm well aware that I roll my L's a little bit. It's it's the accent. Um, I, I try to not have it, but it doesn't really work out that way, does it? Uh, it, it keeps sounding like stalker to me. Exactly, Edgar. And I can't help it, so I'm sorry about that. It's uh, a stalker. Because Stalk. then you get the hard K, the hard Dutch K. That doesn't make any sense either. Yeah. Languages are cool. I don't think I sound as bad as some Dutchies I've heard. Yeah, doll. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I we talked about it yesterday too, Ryan, that I'm not entirely sure how they're going to work it out with the NPC. Because the NPC needs to know where to get stuff. It, you know, if you think programming-wise. So it needs to know where to get stuff. That's what the shelves are for. That's why that update had to go first. They, they said that on the Discord. So that means that the stalker is going to be attached to those shelves, basically. And is only able to get stuff from those shelves, which is fine. Uh, I think we can add another box of uh, mozzarella there. Definitely. Since I have the money, let me add some moss. Um, but yeah, okay, so then the, the stalker needs to know where to put it. So that means the shelves need to be labeled. But if a shelf is empty, it's not labeled anymore. I'm not sure how they're going to do that yet. Maybe they'll change something. Just put it there. It's an empty shelf. Saves me a box in the store. There we go. Okay. The chicken. Does it R? Yeah, no, it's it's not really working out for me, this, uh, <laughs> this, this throwing things. Hold on, can we a little, little farther away? No. Higher? There you go. For Steve. <laughs> See, I got it on there. <laughs> oh boy, now we have another one. Move over, chicken. I think the chicken's in the way. Oh, close. <laughs> A little higher? No. <laughs> I'm trying. Oh, too, too close, I think. There you go. Come on now. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I got it. <laughs> um, wish you could see how much you have in the store. Yes, that would be great. I still think the hand scanner would be even better. Because seeing how many you have of something, you would actually have to memorize how much is on the shelf. To know if you need to order. We need more soda. That's right, this box is smaller than the others. But that's no fun. <laughs> Putting it on the shelf. Damn, what 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 what's I don't remember.
soda. Hold on. Okay, the misconnect there. Sorry. I got it. <laughs> I'm crying. Okay, hold on. Ten points to Gryffindor for that shot. I'm in Ravenclaw, though. <laughs> According to uh, the test. Oh man, I should really play uh, Hogwarts Legacy again one time. Too little time in the day. And the uh, streamer friend is now playing Conan Exiles again. So I jumped in. Oh god, it's so addictive. It's, <laughs> it's such a stupid old game, but it's so addictive too. A tablet? Yeah, that would be good too. So you could just order while you're standing in the store. The hand scanner would be faster. Just beep one box, beep another box. Okay, let's get this in here. Almost level 41 now. Oh, I thought we were already higher than that. Hmm, maybe saw it wrong. Hey, Queen! self serve checkouts. Wasn't that on the uh, itinerary to be added? I don't remember. I mean, sometimes you hear things that are just not true. Well, the thing with an iPad or any, any type of tablet would be that you would still have to, like... You look at the shelf, you have to pull up the tablet and click a plus. When you have a hand scanner, you can just go beep, 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 beep. Okay, I got all that. You'll be done in no time. It's much faster, I think. Oh, made a mistake there. Shouldn't have ordered that. That's fine. Two bottles will be added to tonight. Yeah, same here. Ugh. Check too quickly. Oh, it was in the roadmap. Okay, so I didn't misread that. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I do so dislike having a box with one item in it. <laughs> Would you yell at me, Gordon? Uh, no, wait. <laughs> Here. It used to be there, not anymore. Hey, Joss, just want to hire someone? Yeah. Most people do. Okay, I got eight items. It's basically the... The pasta and the booze. Oh, hold on. There, now I can have a, a look around. Yeah, we definitely need more of that cereal. Just trying to fill up the order, save me some... Honestly, do we need more coffee? I think I can wait. Yeah, honey cereal. Oh, bread. I forgot the bread. Oh boy, and salt. I completely forgot that aisle there. Because I got the chips and then forgot the the bread. Yeah, we can order some uh, mashed potatoes and some flour as well. Mm. 
There. I think that's the best one yet. Like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Boop. <laughs> go. Gables gifted five memberships. A uh, little L80, Mr. Traveler, Ginger Snap, uh, Nuno Mateus, and a name I unfortunately can't pronounce. So congratulations with your memberships. Thank you very much, Gibbles. Thank you, thank you. We need some more pasta. <laughs> All the howling. They're gonna... <laughs> You're not wrong, Chris. Thank you so much, Gibbles. Thank you, thank you. So that means... We can start a giveaway. <coughs> yes, I agree. Hold on. John, thank you very much for subscribing. Alright, member giveaway going on right now. Let's reset that one. There we go. Let me get my chat back to the front. There. Okay, much better. You need to be subscribed on YouTube or followed on Twitch to be able to join in. Type in exclamation mark raffle for one of your tickets. You're in there if you see you got a ticket in the chat. Then I'll pull a winner. <laughs> You need to say something in chat so I know you know you won and then message me on the Discord so I can send you a list of games you can pick from. This is a member giveaway that's a little bit different than a normal giveaway. Tichi uh, K, thank you very much for following. Thank you, thank you. Sorry about that. Well, the only real difference is the the store and the products we have. Because that's the, the progress you make, right? Bigger store, we now have a storage. Different products. We reached level 41, so we need to get to level 42. Chris Paul, thank you very much for subscribing. Yeah, if you could get that one perfect, I'm a box twenty. <laughs> Lilu, thank you very much for following. And as the exception on the general giveaways, with a member giveaway, the members get two tickets. Because it's a member giveaway. <laughs> it's honestly been too long since I've done a normal one. I'll have to set that up for when I hit 10k. Definitely get some nice games to give away. <coughs> DS Play, thank you very much for subscribing. There we go. Another box in there. Almost. Almost. Okay, got some honey cereal. Salt. Okay, that's all done. Let's turn on a light. Let's jump in here. Oh, oh, hold on. You're the wrong way around. One moment. 
Hey, man. Hey, with you. Uh, Flimsel, thank you very much for following. And Gordon, thank you very much for gifting a membership. Who got it? Pete Cole's got it. Very nice. Now you too can use all the floofs in chat. <laughs> Thank you, Gordon. I'm still wondering what the max number of a product is that they can take. Because mostly I see them take three of something as, as a high number. But I think one time I saw someone take four. At least she got three. I mean, they take less, but that's the max. Yeah, one, two, three. Uh, 50, 60, one, two, three, four. 75, 80. There we go. Uh, uh. Re Reptili Yeah, I think that's it. Thank you very much for subscribing. I always try to pronounce it well, but it's, sometimes it's hard. Very creative names. Six! You got someone to buy six. I wonder if there's a chance to it, how much sub someone buys. Because I've seen people buy just one item. And sometimes you have like a, a ton. Three, three. Hmm. I'm just curious what the programming behind it would be. It could be just by a random number, but you know, a chance thing that above three, that the chance is lower. Oh, no, she's still shopping. Okay, she's going over there. Hey, Marius. Hey, Auntie. Uh, wrong shelf. Really? Didn't sell many of those today. That's better. No. Bad toilet paper. You're busy? Well, thank you for dropping by anyway. <coughs> Night Demon, thank you very much for subscribing. Boop, boop. Ooh, we're very low on salmon, I see. I don't think anything ran out, though. All right. So how much... Okay, so we make, like... Almost 400 points a day. Oh, we have 56 customers. That's the highest I've seen so far. Um, damn. Let me see. It was the Musaka. I went too fast. I caught it uh, too late. I think it was spaghetti. Yes. Something large. Something large. It could be this one. The price is wrong. What else 
This is also large. No, that's... Is there anything else large? I don't think so. Oh, let me check the products. Because I still missed two. Or, or one. Yeah, we got the spaghetti. Musica. Yeah, the sushi. Okay, so I'm missing one then. Oh, I think there's a little arrow here. So it's the beer. Six pack. Very hard to see though. There's an overlap there. There you go. Okay, got it. Doomsday shopper. <laughs> that would be funny. Yes, I found it all. No worries. Um. Alright. Uh, first things first. Oh, yeah, I forgot to pay the bills yesterday. No wonder we're doing so well. Uh, do don't think I have any loans, right? No. Very good. Just checking, because I've forgotten before. <laughs> <laughs> we need bleach Nah We need fries And one chicken two fries it's pretty much empty okay add a chicken check the fridge we got over 100 likes very nice i can't see it right now but thank you everyone the green one just put it on cheese there we go yeah some hummus this time can't hurt and we need meat eggs Okay, so the veal, the steak. Um, I don't think we need, no, just the small and the medium eggs. We don't need the big one. There you go. Tuna and salmon. Oh, you're moving this summer? Yeah, I, d I wouldn't want to live in Alaska, to be honest. Okay, sushi. It seems uh, very cold to me. Let's see, we, we need two big salmon. Uh, d sushi, sorry. Let me see, 8 on the shelf, 16 milk, room 4, I mean. Well, that's exactly one box, perfect. Orange juice, oh, we're maxed, hold on. Got the milk, orange juice, there you go. I 
always find it hard to see if we need more cola or water. I think we'll be okay though. Oh yeah, I didn't I forgot to put these uh, beers in. There you go. Okay, that's the fridge. Let's check the shelves. Definitely need two dark coffee. <coughs> and a pink sugar. Sugar pink. Mimi, thank you very much for subscribing. Yeah, moving that far away sounds like a sounds like a pain, Auntie. Honestly. <laughs> yeah, go live next to Gibbles. It sounds much better than Alaska. <laughs> oh, so mean. Hey, Bluebell. Hello, hello. You can't even keeping track of that, Kiwi. <laughs> it's nice to know, though. It is going to be a bit of a shorter stream today because I have a second stream planned for hairdresser sim after this one, which will be coming out tomorrow, where you build like a whole hair salon and cut hair. It's pretty fun. I played the demo before. Oh uh, yeah, we need crispy cereal. <laughs> you drive more in a week at the moment, fair enough. How much for the next license? I don't know if we're going to make it. We're not leveling very fast. I can't see how many points I need to get to level 42. No, no, no. I can see the timer. Okay. I don't think I can see that anywhere, can I? Get us some bread. Chips. And... No, that's pretty full. Oh, we need two red flour, actually. And one potato. There. Yeah, give me all the condiments. Oh yeah, yellow and yellow oil. Hot sauce, ketchup, when you order you get exp you know what I haven't watched for that at all maybe I wonder if you get more if you order per six or per ten you know calculated per product I don't know if we have to order enough to test that today. But we can definitely test it tomorrow. Um, yeah, we can fit a box there. I think it's eight. Is it eight per? No, it's ten. No, okay. So blue rice. And beer. I mean, I could order per six now. Um. 
Okay, let me see. Purchase. 20. It's 20 experience. Now I really want to know if I get the same if I order six, six products. Okay, let me see here. Uh, I just need six, six items. Give me cake. Pretty, uh, give me tea. What else? Something I didn't order. I think we didn't order the green cheese. And if I did, that's fine. One more item. What didn't I order? Oh, give me an extra milk. We can fit that in. Okay, so we got 20 experience for ordering 10 items. 12. Okay, so no, it's even. It doesn't matter. And the reason I'm looking at 10 and 6 is because those are the... You, you pay 4 bucks for 6 items, till 6 items. After that, it becomes 8 bucks for ordering something. So you might as well go to the max of 10. But the, the amount of experience is per, per item, not per order. So that's good to know. If, if per 6 had also been 20, or hell, if per 1 had been 20, if you're looking for experience instead of money, just order per item, I guess. Get that experience in. But no, it doesn't work like that. Ah, did it end? Hold on. Timer's up. Let's pick a winner. Chris Paul has won. Congratulations. Hey, Cypher, give me cake. That's what I asked the lady. She so always say no. <laughs> oh, that is sad. Try the bakery. They usually uh, have cake. Chris Paul, make sure to say something in chat. There you are. I see you. If you could send me a DM on Discord, I can send you a list of games and you can pick one after the stream. Well, I'll send it to you after the stream. You can take your time with picking the games. No worry. Is beer... Hold on one moment. Uh, Derby, thank you very much for following. My, my, wild derby on uh, on Twitch there. Hello. How are you doing? I saw you're getting back into it. I'm very happy to see that. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm multi-stream. Recently, but I am. But like, going on two weeks now? This, I think this is the third week. Hey, Black Beauty, hello. Suddenly a wild derby appears. He uses follow. It's super effective. Uh, to answer your question, Travis, I have no idea. Um, unfortunately, be well, yeah, that's a bit weird to say, unfortunately. But so Beer Factory is made by one developer. Um, great guy working very hard. But he couldn't put his game on early access because that apparently, yeah, that he couldn't afford that. Basically, that's what it get down to. Um, which, you know, fair enough. If someone puts that much of their own money and time into it. And he tried to do an update. And it, yeah, it was flawed. There was simply something wrong with it. He had to pull it back. He's not working on it again. It's, I, I can imagine how bumped out he is with that whole situation. But that means it's going to take a while till the game is finished enough that they could possibly port it to... A console, which would also require a big investment, so he would have probably have to find a company who was willing to invest. Yeah, I'm same Derby. I'm really happy that Twitch changed the rules uh, about it. Oh, close. Hold on, I'm stubborn. Ah, there we go. And Gordon subscribed on Twitch. Thank you very much, Gordon, for your awesome support. 
both Twitch and YouTube even. Yeah, it's Steve, it's it's a little bit the experience is a little bit complicated, isn't it? So someone suggested yesterday just let people buy your store empty. Just let it run for a couple of days and let empty it out and just, you know, buy more stuff and fill it up again afterwards. So you can run a couple of days pretty quickly. And I honestly if you compare time to experience I honestly don't know if that would be a good idea. On the one hand, you get a bunch of money and experience pretty quickly. On the other, you would lose experience by losing sales. Because you get a minus one. Yeah, I, don't, I honestly don't know if that would be a good idea. Something to think about. Yep, yep. Good luck, Derby. Enjoy your dinner, probably. Yeah, time is probably dinner time. Yeah, it is. 6 p.m. Time zones are still weird. Will Supermarket Sim come to the console? Well, obviously, I mean, I'm not connected to these developers, you realize that, I hope so. I don't have any say in it, but the thing with porting to console is that it's, ex it's expensive and you basically need a pretty finished game. So something in early access will almost never be ported to console. Not until it's finished. And when that is, that depends, of course, on the developer. But yeah, then again, you do need, you need to either have made a whole ton of money off the game, or you need some kind of investor to help you do that. Also, you need to find someone who's going to, you know, and pay them, someone who's actually going to do that for you. Of course, there are people you can pay for that, but it's not going to be cheap. So, yeah, it's a big step to take. Let me put it that way. Not everyone wants to. Maybe if some, if a developer can find a good publisher that is willing to invest in that, then yeah, it's possible. Yeah, but it still barely ever happens, Anastasia. Do you have an example of a game that's... I mean, this game is very early access, of course. It just it just get out, but I don't know a game that's in early access that got ported on console. But I don't play in consoles, so I could have very well missed it. A lot of games will also put it on their Kickstarter for, you know, after early access. Two p.m. Am I missed? Oh yeah, I'm. I'm really miscalculating. That's a late lunch. You're absolutely right. Oh my God, Edgar, those weird little sandwiches. It's just bad association there. Oh yeah, that's a bad. That's a bad spot for the tuna. Let me put it outside. And yes, I know I have a storage, but I don't want to walk back and forth to the storage. For boxes, that'll be empty again tonight. So I'm doing it like this. It's exactly very good. Yeah, I had to buy a lot today. Mm, let me do a little bit more. And then we could open the store while I stock. Yeah, they now have a little bit too much of some items because I did that test with the ordering experience. Let 
think I ordered that chips as well. A Chris Paul one. Also, hello, Rose. I don't think I've s I saw you, but I didn't say hello yet to you. Um, you don't want it? I can re-roll. We can re-roll the, the giveaway. No problem. I haven't closed it yet. Let me just refresh this page. If that's what you want, we can certainly do that. Or um, you may also pick someone. It's up to you, Chris. I can re-roll to people who entered, or I can, uh, or you can pick someone. I'll, I'll reopen it for it. Uh, okay, hold on. I'll resume entries for just a minute because I saw Yonsa trying to get in, and it, it was a bit sad, right? So last chance to get in the giveaway. I'm just leaving it open for a minute until I unpack this. And then we'll do a re-roll. Since Chris didn't mean to win. <laughs> Is it not working? Hold well on. Hold on, I'll remove Chris as winner. Let's hope we don't pull him again, because he's still in there, but... Okay, I see... Um, who all is in here? Oh, a whole lot. Oh, 30 people. Uh, Yancy, you already had a ticket. This is not a new giveaway. If you're already in here, it's... Uh, Safi already had a ticket. Oh, that, that's just stream saying that, Chris. That's just uh, stream, stream lab. Sorry. That's not true. We know that. Don't worry about, it, uh, about inactivity. Okay, there we go. Got some people getting tickets. No, it's not a new one. I just thought I'd... Uh, since new people joined, I opened it for a second. Okay, yeah, I didn't want you to think that I thought that, because we all know it's not in activity. It's just what Streamlab automatically says when you remove a winner. Alright, last chance. If you got a ticket earlier, it's, uh, you're, you're good. Oh, we should, uh, we need to add a command for that, Rob. I, th I think you can do it, or you may remind me to do it after the stream. Gabby, thank you very much for following. Trader Joe's oatmeal packet. I made it to the wrong store. I that I feel like there's a story behind it, but I don't know it. The bye. <laughs> well, I mean, what you hear are sheep. The we have a screaming goat. Uh, you can buy with with your points, not with money. You can make the command. Cool. All right, let's pick a new winner. Hold on, Streamlabs is uh, being... Okay, we're gonna close it and pick a winner. <laughs> and Streamlabs is really annoying because I can't see what's happening. Let me refresh. Kiwi! Captain Kiwi won. Well, I know you're here. Right? <laughs> uh, Jelen, thank you very much for following. I think I saw uh, Gabby too. I think I, I got Gabby before. 
Oh, that's right. It doesn't automatically load the chat. <laughs> Congrats! Oh, you got it under Rose? Very good. I can add, I can add some alternatives later, but thank you, Gethkar. Kiwi! Um, yeah, please send me a DM. And we'll get you sorted out after the stream. Send you a list and you can uh, pick a game. Yeah, so Rose Dragon, what one we're making a command for, made the, the goat. And the, I think we have the Nima cookie in here, right? I have another cookie. All right, thanks. Very good. We'll complete this giveaway. Until next time. Unfortunately, I can't add a separate one for Twitch. So either I need to start switching them off or just, <laughs> just remember. But don't worry, there will be more giveaways um, when I hit the 10k. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Oh uh, yeah, just put here. Uh, I ordered a bit too much because I was testing out well how much experience we get for an order. So we have a couple of boxes now in the store, but I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. Stuff wise. Hey, Vesseltje. Hey, Jessica. New to the channel. Welcome, welcome. You're playing it as well. Yeah, I think a lot of people are uh, playing while they watch. It's very cool. Thanks, Janse. Uh, I don't think we have anything under bingo. <laughs> All the yelling fluffies. One shampoo for you. Hey Emma, welcome back. I wake up in silence. I turn in our face and yeah, we did we did a lot of stalking while I was yapping on, so now I can uh, just uh, sit here and well work work more. <laughs> 50, 70, 80, 50, 86, 50, 75, 80. There we go. Wow. All the hot sauce. He's going to do the hot sauce challenge. <laughs> the holy wall of alcohol. Yeah, it's right behind me. It's uh, very protected. Yeah, it's a it's a fizz gig from. Uh, it, it is the dark crystal, right? A uh, panny made it for me uh, a long time ago. Well, she had it and she shared it with me. <laughs> you know, I still have to watch the series for the dark crystal. I love the movie. It's a, if I'm not mistaken, it's a Jim Henson movie, isn't it? Uh, AKA the Muppets, if you don't remember that name. Okay, well, we, uh... The thing is, if I tap out the game passes, and that's not what we want. Let me see. Dark Crystal. It's been so long. I should really... Well, I mean... <laughs> I, the, the movie's not older than me, but it's close, you know? Oh, it, it was on Netflix. Mm. Well, it wasn't popular enough. We, you know, that's the thing. But that's the series, not the movie. The thing, though, is that nowadays... 
that if the series doesn't do very well, it's immediately cancelled. There's no real room for, like, cult loves anymore, you know? Something gets hyped over time. It doesn't get time to get better. A lot of series have a bad first season. And nowadays they're just all just cancelled, cancelled, cancelled. Cult classic, that's the word I'm looking for. Hey Mary! Hello, hello. I'm good, thank you. 93.2. There you go. Oh, let me... One moment, fella. Let me... That's the series. That's not what I'm looking for. Is the Dark Crystal a good movie? Hell yes. Yeah, there's the fist gig. That's actually the first... Uh... Is there going to be a number two? No, because Jim Henson's dead. Um, Jim Henson and Frank Oz. That's what I was looking for. Yes. Okay, found it. Sorry. It was, it was just like sitting there. Like, is it? Is it? I don't remember. But yes, of course it is. All the ice cream. Yeah, it's uh, from 1982, I just saw. So that's a pretty old movie. But it's still very good. Um, I, I don't really watch any series nowadays. One, there's a big chance things get cancelled, like I said. So you're, you're sitting on a cliffhanger. And also, it takes a lot of time. And just saying, okay, I have one or two hours tonight to go watch a series. It's, uh, yeah. Doesn't always work for me. Um, tracker? Yeah, but the things that do have a big fan base get made get made into a movie or a series by someone who's never seen who's not a fan themselves and therefore is just well basically horrible because i have i haven't watched it but take for example uh, she hulk <clears throat> i've seen pieces of it and pro they're probably the, the worst pieces and also the reason i didn't watch the series but She-Hulk, if you know the source material, if you love the source material, she was a very serious and very good lawyer who happened to become green because of a blood transfusion from Bruce Banner, her cousin. She's an extremely good character and they ruined her completely. <laughs> from what I've seen. It's... <laughs> and they do it more often. They, uh, they could have made such an amazing series about the Fantastic Four. But no, they have to have the same damn movie three times, I think. They think we're going up to three now, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, The Dark Crystal is definitely a good movie. What else is a good, an old good movie to watch? Like in the same... Willow, but that also got into made into a series, and I think I didn't hear much good about that either. Um, God, what was the one with the gigantic devil? Oh, what's his name? He played it, um, the old it, and the the transvestite. Oh, what's his name? He played a demon in a movie, and I can't think of it. It was basically a crossover between the Bible and Peter Pan. It was... Tim Curry, Legend, thank you. It was Tim Curry and Legend, yeah. No, but well, Never Ending Story is a good movie too, true. Absolutely. We do not talk about the horse. Beverly Hills Cop 4 coming out. Still with Eddie Murphy. <laughs> 
there comes a time we're just gonna get a cop movie that would like the actor uh, behind this uh, walking <laughs> walking thing uh, <laughs> going after the criminals oh boy What's that? What's that with Tom Cruise? Yeah, that's probably very young Tom Cruise. Legend was a good movie too. There's just something special about the '80s movies because back then, when like big fantasy movies and that kind of stuff, it was all pretty new. It had a, a like it was a big wave. I was, I've never been a big fan of... Uh, well, no, not Liam Neeson. Someone else. Wait. Naked Gun was with, not with Liam Neeson. What? Hey, Megan. Hold up. Kitties. I push back. Leave my books alone. <laughs> Am I missing that? Here you go, sir. Leslie Nielsen, thank you. See, you got all confused. There's a remake, really? Uh, the, well, I've never been a fan of Leslie Nielsen. No. I don't know. There was something about him that just... The similarity in the name put me on the wrong foot there. But there's got to be a remake. But Liam Neeson is not really someone I would say is a... A, um, a comedy actor. It's an interesting choice. I, I did like uh, uh, the Marvel movies, you know, until it happened. Um, I watched them all in the cinemas. They were very good. There's also, there's one humor series I really liked. Um, was that Top Gun? It might be. Is that, I'm, I always mix up the serious one with the, with the funny one. No, not, well, I like Gremlins too. That's a good example too. Elishifa, thank you very much for subscribing. I hope they never reboot Black to the Future. Me neither. It's, uh, some roles are just iconic. Hey, Luda. You like the way you did the store? Well, thank you. I obviously really liked Criminal Minds. But the thing about Dutch TV is that they often took a series and showed it out of order. So a lot of things like, you know, underlying storylines were lost in those kinds of series. I mean, they might have like two episodes that belong together. They would show them all one after the other, but yeah. You know, the, the character storylines were often lost. Hot shots. That's it. Yes. And it runs into the uh, uh, the big ship with all the airplanes on it, and then he pulls out his keys and does beep beep. <laughs> or the one where he crawls over the wall, like it. There's you just see the top of the wall. You see his hand come up, and then you see his second hand come up, and he pulls himself up, and he's like, oh, I finally got to the top, and he jumps down, and it's a wall of like a. a nothing it comes not even to his knees you know that ki that kind of jokes or they're in a very serious conversation in the general's office and in the background you just see a bunch of soldiers dancing the can can outside you know that kind of jokes that that's what i like oh speaking of even older movies than that um police academy i like that i these are all movies i probably wouldn't re-watch because I love them, and 
they're probably not as good as I remember them compared to nowadays, especially with special effects. But yeah, still love them. Uh, there's someone on max level. Does he sleep? <laughs> Honest question. I do like me some good uh, cunning characters which show us that. Blacklist. Right. No, mentalist not. A lot of the... they. A lot of shows like that didn't really get to the TV here. So, until I had the interwebs. Which was actually quite late compared to most other people. Uh... My parents, who both were very uh, dependent on the computer at their work, didn't really see the use of a computer at home, to the point that I couldn't do certain work for school because they required me to type things out. And they never understood that. And now my, mo now my mother is basically internet addicted, you know, watching all their series online. But she never understood that the school required me to type things out instead of having everything handwritten. They wouldn't accept it. I told them, you don't, the school didn't have computers to work on. My home didn't have computers to work on. I told them, I can't type it out. What do you want me to do? Get a typewriter? <laughs> well, we were pretty behind at home, even though they both worked with computers. My mother was an expert in MS-DOS. It's crazy when you think back to it. Of course, I'm talking about um, like 25 years ago, so. No, I, well, I catch an occasional movie when I have the patience for it to sit down. I, I generally get distracted very easily. Uh, I like watching animes, and that's mostly because the... One, they have, you know, hey, 60, we're going up in customers. Uh, but yeah, things like anime have very short episodes. They're like 20 minutes long, if you, especially if you skip the, the intro. So it can easily, like, if I have a little bit of time, I can easily watch, like, a couple of episodes. It makes it easier than having an hour or 45 minute episode. Sent you a cursive letter. Oh, darling, you don't want to see my handwriting. I didn't say it was good. I just said I had to... T <laughs> yeah, get a typewriter. <laughs> exactly. Oh, I've watched a lot. Cur currently, though, because... Honestly, when I'm done streaming for so long as if I... I've been streaming the last few weeks. I generally just read something online or, you know... You check your, you check your Discord and you check your email. And you chat with some people, and then it's like, oh, look, it's the sun. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, let me think. Anime. I. Wow, I, I'm having a thing where I can't think of names. Uh, reincarnated as a slime is a special favorite of me. I really love the world building in that uh, in that one. Ray J, thank you very much for subscribing. Oh, uh, hold on. Did I just... I ordered the wrong pizza. There you go. Now we need the crusty pizza. Is that pizza cheddar? Hold on. No, we need, we need this one. There we go. Okay, now I got the right one. Uh, ice cream... Ice cream, crab, and two chicken. Got that? Yes. <laughs> King of the Hill. Oh god, let's not start that discussion again. But yeah, the thing with anime is that, of course, there's stuff for kids, but generally speaking, uh, there's a lot of stuff for adults there too. Just the, the themes are more adult. 
I need three toilet paper. That's one, so let's add two more. And I don't mean that in an adult adult way, but simply that it's not as childish as a lot of cartoons. This King of the Hill is also just, yeah, not my thing. <laughs> oh, thank you, Steve. And propane, oh, mosquito in my face. No, propane accessories, yes. I've seen it though, but yeah, it's not, not something I look up to watch more of. Uh, yeah, we need a parmesan and the orange one. Mimolet, that's it. Butter and yogurt. There's the yogurt. There's the butter. Didn't even have to search. Very nice. We need big eggs. Little hiccup there. Um, Robotech. You know, I I used to watch like the the older anime, and there was one I really loved. It it was was it wasn't Gundam, but it was with Max. And then I later on I found it again. Because I had loved it so much watching it on TV. Uh, was it on TV? I might have been. Either that or I, I watched it on the internet somewhere. Um, so I found it again. And I thought, you know what? Let me see if it's still good. It was not. It was not good. It was really, really, really bad. Um, so yeah, sometimes your memories are... Uh, a little bit off on the quality compared to, you know, you seem better later and then... Oh boy. I don't remember the name. You don't need to know either. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, where's the soda? There it is. But yeah, that's what I meant with if you love something uh, when you're young, it's not always worth it to rewatch it. And that beer, there we go. That's the fridge. That means all we have left now is the shelf. Well, since I have the beer open, might as well check both of them, please. We're doing well on the money. Okay. Remember, we ordered the beer. And that's all. Of the shelves. Uh, black coffee. And sugar. Two black coffee? No. How many milk do we need? Two. And chocolates. The only anime you tolerate was One Punch Man. You know, I haven't seen that one yet. That that's definitely on my list, though. Though just season one, I think I've not heard good things about the rest. Oh, I've watched Escaflone. Uh, that one was really good. Definitely. Um, Helsing, I've seen though. I it's been a long time. I would really lo love to rewatch it. Uh, Attack on Titan, no, I haven't seen that one. I saw the start, it was really gruesome, and then I realized that you might need to be in a specific mood to watch that one. I actually have those right there, perfect. But yes, it's on my list to watch that one. Honestly, I, sh I just should, because Attack on Titan uh, really popular, very big. Also, extremely good intro. Alan, thank you very much for gifting a membership. Who got it? Superman Flox got it. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you, Alan. 
Full Metal Alchemist also on my list. I must, yeah, I must confess there. They're considered to be the best anime ever made, and I never watched it. I mean, I know about it, obviously, hard to miss, but not watched yet. Let's see. Yeah, we need all of that. How many potatoes do we need? One. Flour. One, two, three. Uh, just search for potatoes. Then we get the mashed potatoes and the normal potatoes. Yeah, no spoilers, please. <laughs> Saitama gets mad. Yeah, I did one punch um so the thing with anime nowadays when i watch it that i basically celebrate when it's not teens and childish the people who watch anime will understand that that a lot of animes circle around hold on what do we need oh yeah all the condiments they circle around teens and their personal problems so when you run into something that's different, it is uh, very nice. Of course, there's many that are different, but a lot of them still hold the same themes. Tony Tony Chopper. We have a Tony Tony Chopper uh, stuffy here. Where did we get it? Uh, all oh, right, we went to we were in Germany and uh, we were looking in I don't know an electronics store and they had them lying there and we were like, "Oh, we got to have that one." So, yeah, we have a Tony Tony Chopper stuffy. <laughs> uh, yes, I always watch in Japanese with English subtitles. Um the max level video says in the description it's an edited save file. That's that's honest. I like that. I mean, if you want to get to the, the end game quickly, then just go for it, right? But at least they're honest about it. Better than do sneaky sneaky. Give people the wrong idea about the game. Alright, let's start with this. Then we'll see uh, if there's anything else we need. What a mess. Lots of big boxes though. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the question was, what anime do you watch? So definitely reincarnated as a slime. Actually, one of, the only one I've ever rewatched. Uh, just to catch up on the story again. Um, there's more, but I'm trying to think of the names. There was one I, that has like medium reviews, but I really liked it. It was about a guy who... Uh, basically, he starts out very chubby and he's very bullied and his family hates him. And he's now living in his grandpa's old house. Who, his grandpa was the only person who loved him and his grandpa died. And now he lives alone in that house. Because everybody hates him and it's very dramatic. He gets bullied and beat up. But he saves uh, a girl. And that evening he finds, a, he finds a secret door in his grandpa's house. And I'm not just telling you about the first 10 minutes of the series. So no spoilers there. Um... And he goes through that door and he ends up in like a cabin in the woods. No, not that cabin. Um, and he, he gets an explanation. Basically, it's a, a fantasy world, magical fantasy world. And uh, he finds special magical weapons that make him super strong. And it's all very over the top. And then he, he wakes up the next morning. He, will, he goes back home and he can take... He doesn't take items with him, but they get turned into real life money. So whatever he gets there... He can turn into real life money in, you know, in the real life, in his previous life. So, 
it's a complete wish fulfillment anime and if you don't watch it like that it's completely silly but if you watch it as a wish fulfillment because he wakes up and he's super handsome and thin and muscled and tall and <laughs> and it's just so funny and of course everybody and he gets uh, so the girl he saved offers is the daughter of basically the head of a very special elite school he gets offered a place he makes friends he beats up his bullies he becomes super strong it's ridiculous it's so much fun but you need to watch it as a complete wish fulfillment thing i need to look it up i think i have it in the anime channel though on my discord god what was it called silly isn't it i don't remember the names But it's just fun. But you, you, people watched it too seriously, and they didn't like it, and that's fair, because it's not supposed to be watched seriously. Like, um, he goes to the mall and he becomes a supermodel. He thinks like that, you know. <laughs> and the, that's a whole story, so that's not even a really a spoiler there. <laughs> The workday special, what? We have the whiskey, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> um. Yeah, yeah, you can just change that save file. I don't know if you can do it by hand if you, or if you need a website for it, but it shouldn't be too hard. Hey, Keisha. Hold on, I can take a quick sneak peek. Let me see if I can find the name. Shouldn't take uh, long at all. Let me see, anime. Oh, here we're all sharing creepy stuff. Mm. Is this it? Oh no, this is... Uh... Oh yeah, Zom 100. I watched that one. That one is great. It just got finally got finished. Uh, they ran into some troubles. I was missing the last bunch of episodes and it got finished just around Christmas. That one is really good. Uh, Zom 100, Bucket List of the Dead. Definitely. And uh, highly recommended. Uh, Okashi Natense was fun. The pastry chef who dies and goes to another world and all he wants to do is bake pastries but it's a bit impossible because there's no sugar um <laughs> oh wow it's probably a, been a while i guess mm, that one's still coming Yeah, I, I generally share them in the anime channel, but I think it's been, been a bit longer than I remembered. I still need to finish uh, One Piece. Uh, the, the real life version. Yeah, I can't find it right now. Kanata the Astra was good too, indeed. I watched that one. Oh, here we go. I found it. One moment, it's loading. Yeah, that's it. Okay. I'll put the link in chat if anyone's interested. It's just uh, my anime list uh, link. There you go. But it's uh, like a cheat isekai. Something, something. Long name, as they usually do. I swear, this uh, animes get longer and non longer names each day. I think it's Cheat Skill in Another World. I think that's the English name. That could be very well it, yeah. It's just hilarious. Yeah, Kanata de Astra is about a bunch of teens, but. They're not like over the top teens, so it doesn't. I didn't mind so much. Um, they go on a school trip, however, into space. That's normal at that time. It's a place in the future. 
Uh, however, they get sucked up by some kind of ball and end up in the other side of the universe. And they need to find their way back and find out what the hell happened. And it's actually very interesting to watch. Because the, the I'm not giving anything away, but the twist at the end. I did not see that coming there. Get off my lawn, what? That could be Rose, that it's not long in Japanese, that's true. But yeah, in English, uh, it is. But also because, and that is also true in Japanese, that the names become an entire description of what it is about. Now that I've found that, let's speed this up a little bit. Pizza! Night cables! <laughs> well, I try to keep up with the newer anime. But, uh... Basically, when I, I only watch when something's uh, season is finished. So basically, we're coming up to the end of. I think. Is that the winter? Or is it the spring already? Either one. We're coming up to the end of the season. So then I'll check out what all they've been doing the last few months. There's a couple of good ones in there. I know that already. But I still have a bunch to catch up on, too. I'm also a bit pickier with anime because there's so much of it. So if I don't like something, I'll just stop watching it. There's been a couple I just got bored with. For there we're getting there yeah no problem just remember it's not serious right you need to watch that as yeah like I said wish fulfillment I liked it because of that but sometimes it's fun to read or watch something that is just not realistic but it basically makes every wish of the character come true And then, of course, it needs to be well made. And it, it still needs to have, like, realistic emotions. Does that make sense? There's also another anime, I just remembered. Um, it's something with... The title is something with saints. But it's about a woman who's suddenly dragged into a... I, I like Isekai, sorry, it's a bad habit. Um, so she's drugged into like this fantasy world along with a younger girl and she, she's an adult woman just to be clarified that it's rare in anime um, and one of them is supposedly the saint they were summoned to save the world blah de blah standard story however the younger girl is immediately drug off like okay she's the saint it's gonna be great bye and she has nothing to do this, this woman who is the main character you of course know what time it is and um, they, you know, they messed up. And she starts learning magic and, you know, she can't go home. So she's making the best of it. She starts, but it's actually a realistic, as far as fantasy goes, realistic adult situation. She meets people, she gets a job, she learns new things. You know, she just deals with the situation. She falls in love. It, it's actually a really nice anime. Because the tone is so much more adult than the the high school romance series you have often, which I'm a bit bored of. Oop. You never really got into anime. That, that that's fair. The thing is, though, that some people dismiss it because, you know, it's 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 a cartoon. 
it, it, the anime is much broader than the cartoons that we generally see on TV in the Western world. Because even anime like Dragon Ball Z and Pokemon and Digimon that, do, that are so popular on TV in the US and in Europe and elsewhere, South, of, uh, South America, the very big um, Dragon Ball Z in South America. They're made for children. Well, Dragon Ball Z, the real one without the cutouts, is pretty bloody, but you know, it's long, drawn out fight scenes. Not any adult teams in there, like actual real life drama, or you know, it, it feels like it's made for children. It's not complicated at all. There's bad guy, beat up bad guy, done. <laughs> of course, Pokemon is for kids. Digimon is for kids, but you also have very good series that are, you know, you have Slice of Life, which I'm not a fan of, it gets a bit boring for me, but yeah, very, you have horror, lots of horror. Let's see, there, push the box in. There's some really good horror shows out there. Mystery. It's much broader. Is it broad that we have, you know, um, real life uh, series so with real characters instead of drawn it's just as broad as that it's a much bigger deal too voice actors are much more specific like here we have a couple of voice actors and they'll voice all the series and they don't do that there it's a real business you don't think Yu-Gi-Oh? I have never watched Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't find it interesting. I mean, Pokemon I watched because it was a perfect time right before I had to go to school. So Pokemon was over, I ate my breakfast while, while it was on, and then I went to school. You know, perfect time. We need a cat wheel. Oh, walking cat, yes. Good day, Gordon. Yu-Gi-Oh is dark. Yeah, that is a... I think we need vodka, actually. And pasta. Oh, wait, no, I had that in the in the order, didn't I? Yes. Anyway, the... Sorry. In Dutch, you write it with a W, hence my mix-up sometimes. Also, I, I pronounce it that way. Vod vodka, I think you guys say. We say vodka. Vodka. Nice hard K. Yeah, one left over. It is also true that with either cartoons or anime that nowadays everything has to be very very safe very sweet it used to be quite normal that you had scary series for children now it's all oh, protect the children and they grow up with rainbows and flowers and yeah i don't know if that's a really good thing it's just like here where we have a lot of subtitled series. We had a lot of subtitled series. And then they started to do voiceovers too. So the skill in English in the Netherlands is actually going down. Because we used to have a lot of English series with Dutch subtitles. Uh, well, yeah, but that's cut out in the Funimation version, Rob. I did see Bleach. I watched it until basically they saved Rukia. But at that point I was pretty done with it because they introduced like a hundred characters at the same time. Yes, I'm from the Netherlands. It was they they go to the the Sky Kingdom or whatever, the death that side of the world, I don't know. Um at least the death gods are all there and they all have their minion. And it was like, oh my god, how many more people are you gonna introduce? Oh look, there's another one. And it, I just it drove me but it drove me bonkers. So many new people. 
Yeah, I don't think we're gonna make it either money or level wise today. We'll have to do it tomorrow. I'm sorry. Uh, what time did I set the next stream on? I forgot. I put it on half or one? Hour, thank you, Rob. I wasn't sure exactly if I put it on in half an hour or an hour because I was debating it. And then I distract myself by yapping a lot. Okay, so we have about 30 minutes more here. Good, good. But yeah, I don't... I don't think we're gonna make either 16k or level 42. It's taking a bit longer than I had hoped. <clears throat> but it's, uh, it's all good. We'll get there. I had to do a lot of refilling today, too. Oh no, we're good on the salmon. I have to do some catch-up from yesterday. You're waiting for the next Bleach episode? Yeah, I just got... It was another anime where there's long, drawn-out fights. And while the story is a bit more interesting... Couldn't hold my attention. Your ex is from the Netherlands, but uh, a beautiful place, but you didn't get to see the parts you wanted to. Well, which parts did you want to see? Now I'm curious. Soul Society, thank you, Daffy. That's it, yes. But it's very, it's very long time since I watched it. Like when it just came out. Oh, the Efteling, yes, that's absolutely. Yeah, that's. I also, I didn't find the characters that interesting in Bleach. Especially the side characters didn't really have any character. <laughs> like, they were just hanging out and, and looking like typical, stereotypical, yeah, groups, I guess, in the world. No, wasn't interesting for me, at least. <laughs> oh god, poor Edgar. Had to watch Sailor Moon. Um, I had a friend who was really into uh, Sailor Moon, um, the the one with the chibi goddesses. Um, I, I just um, Amy Chu also, but that one's a bit uh, naughty. Um, yeah, not my style, not not my taste at all. I'm generally not too much into like the humor shows or the slice of life. Take it easy. No, I, I need me good. To... Oh, you know what? I need to finish watching. Uh, Kamenieri of the Iron Fortress. I just remembered. It's from the same studio as Attack on Titan. The intro music is the best I've ever seen. That's my favorite. Well, maybe with the. Reincarnated as a slime. There's one song in the second season that's really good. I started with that one, never finished it. I just remembered it. Mm. Well, to be honest, uh, Hertog and Bos is prettier than Amsterdam in some ways. It's different though, because Amsterdam is built on the swampy part, and then Bos is not. They still have canals, but it's a little bit different. But different building style, basically. Amsterdam is very touristy. You haven't missed much. I'll, I mean, I can understand you would want to see it one day, but trust me. It's, uh, it's like nice to visit for a day, you know, look around. Maybe a bit longer if you want to see some museums or specific things. It's just too ter too touristy for me nowadays. A lot of stores disappeared. <coughs> Come on, people. We need to get to level 42. Let's go. Daffy, thank you very much for subscribing. Uh, five, seven. There you go. 
I'm from Amsterdam, so I'm from uh, North Holland. Invested with Shrex. <laughs> There we go, now we're making some money. Um, let's see if we can fill up some of the bigger items here. That's the chicken. Oh, did I not have any toilet paper left over? No, I guess not. It's exactly. Fifty-four, eighty. There we go. The Ceylon, it's dead. <laughs> yeah, it's also not somewhere where you can easily go visit. Um, if only because there, I think there's a toll on the road to New Zealand. Trying to get a, a nice store shot in. Look, look how badly their, their lines just match up. One is empty, one is full of people. Uh, 30, 40, there you go. I think I've, I don't remember if I've ever been to Zealand. And thanks everyone for over 150 likes. Okay, you guys are awesome. Let's see if we can make it to 200 today. That would be amazing. Uh, Fisherman Village. You know what? That doesn't ring a bell. But then of course there's places specifically for tourists. So. <clears throat> Of course I know that, Kiwi. <laughs> you grew up in Katzheuvel. Yeah. You know, if I lived there, I'd get uh, like the Efteling pass. A year pass. And, you know, just, just go there for a walk in the afternoon. That'd be amazing. You can go on like a quiet day when it's suddenly sunny. You can just decide to go into some rides. Euros is not too bad, but yeah, not something you would, uh, you know, drive them. But it's also a bit far for me, of course, to just hop on by. Take all your garbage there for all the bullegijs. Yes. So for those of you who don't know, there's a, um, it's yeah, basically a statue. I would call it in well, the, it used to be one. It has a lot of cousins now through, throughout the whole park. So they needed a way to have people throw their garbage away in the bins instead of on the floor. And it was a bit of a problem because also there were a lot of kids there. So they designed Gijs. And he is hollow, holle, well, yeah, chubby, bowl, and his name is Gijs. So <clears throat> he actually, he has his mouth open. And he sucks it. Their air is sucked in. It's like a vacuum. So you put a piece of paper in front of it. It gets sucked inside. And then he always says, paper here. Yeah, papier here, papier here. And then kids go crazy for it. So it's like, oh, I want to throw away the garbage. No, I want to throw away the trash. So yeah, it was a very clean park after that. And they placed them all over now. But it's one, it's one of those things that's iconic for the Efteling. And oh, and, and if it if something went through, he would say thank you. So, <laughs> yes, it's, as a, I did the same thing as a kid. Oh, I can throw away the trash, yay! And then 
you know, it gets sucked from your fingers and it'd be great. Child childhood memories, there you go. Honestly, it's still fun, even as an adult. <laughs> I don't know if we're going this year. I didn't go last year. Osaka went with some, yeah, some friends of his. Didn't really want to butt in there. Because um, there's a lot of rides right now that are like getting worked on. There's a new one coming pretty soon. There was a be beautiful ride, um, dark ride. Well, it's not really a ride because you just walk through it, but... Um, it's a haunted mansion, a haunted castle. And you would walk in and you stood before glass and there was a whole show on music uh, behind the glass. I've, I've shared it before on the Discord. It was, but yeah, you know, as, as time went on, it was just old fashioned and they, they broke it down, but something else is coming in its place now. So that's being built currently. Very exciting. However, once it's finished, it's going to be really busy in the park. Because everyone is going to come want to see it. <laughs> now the thing is, Luna, when you compare the Efteling price with most other theme parks, especially things like Disney, it's actually really cheap. Especially if you get the 10 euros off from the Albert Heijn. Which I always do, of course. You know, you just have to buy a couple of things at the Appy store and then you get those coupons, so you get 10 bucks off, 10 euros. So that would be good. Uh, that's a good way to get in cheaper. So it's like 25 per person, 25 euros, plus parking costs. So for us, it's like a little bit more than 60 euros to go for a day. It's not too bad. A day ticket now? Yeah, that's inflation. That's true. <laughs> it was still close in the winter back then. Oh boy. Now we're talking a long time ago. I don't know if it was... I don't I don't know if it was close in the winter when I was a kid. Hold on. Let's put that away. I don't think we need cleaning spray, but... Oop. Yeah, we're on 7k now, which is pretty good, but 16k... Yeah. <laughs> Never went to another park? Well, I went to... Um, it's, it went bankrupt, but as a kid... God, what was it called? Land van Oid, the, the land of ever. It was basically like a knight and fairy tale based park. And they had giants. So there was this adult woman who played um, the giant child. It was really funny. I, just in hindsight, you know, as an, as an adult, it was really funny. Um, let's see, that's one, two chicken and give me some fries. The rest all looks good, I think. How's the pizza? Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay, now we can do the cheese. Um, we don't need parmesan. Oh, we're, hold on, we're full. Uh, so we got the mozzarella. And we need the mimoletta and the comté. Mm, I think we're good on hummus. One moment, let me search out the veal. There we go. Jim, thank you very much for subscribing. Clone, yes. It's pretty, it was, in hindsight, it was pretty cringe. <laughs> and she had a TV show too. But yeah, the thing was that children were in charge and there were all kinds of shows 
And let me tell you, my family hated it because all the all the shows meant that you couldn't just walk through there. You actually had to run from show to show to see everything. <laughs> And they hated it because they just wanted to have a nice relaxing day out. And I was like, yeah, I want to see that. I want to see, but I was really small. Little tiny Nima. <laughs> but yeah, it is funny. Uh, I think we just need the blue water. Yeah. Drink wise. Okay, let's check the booze. Uh, some of the green beer would fit. Let's check the other beer. Uh, yeah, both of them would fit. Oh. Sometimes when I look at the screen, it already starts typing. It happens a lot. make this music screen a bit I see the video from the corner of my eye it's very distracting um why not start ordering and stocking between uh, around 7 p.m uh, because it literally takes no time at all between seven and nine at that point I might as well just run the register till till it's nine and do it then but I prefer to have daylight. Uh, to do it. So I need to get to 1750 checkouts by myself, hence me doing the stocking during closing hours and running the till during the day. Also the day goes, it goes really fast. Christina, thank you very much for subscribing. Christina Carla. Yeah, so it's nice to have for me to be able to. Uh, hold on, I need a drink. I'm a break ah, so that's better. It is just nice for me to be able to do it while the clock is stopped. I can't do the stocking during the time that the day uh, runs. It is too much work. Oh, I missed the. The price changes. Also, I yeah, I see that this sugar is oh wrong wrong aisle. This one, the sugar is price changed. Let me fix that. I'll check the rest in a bit. Um, yeah, we need all the sugar except for the pink one. That was it. Hold on, which which one did I have? Did I have the susu? Yes. So brown and not pink, but this one. There you go. And we need the milk. That one also changed pricing. That one went up. Okay, we need two candy and a chocolate. Mm, oh, hold on, it's full. Do another one because it's very empty chocolate now if i had to do this while the day was running the day would pretty much be over before i can even fill the shelves it's uh <laughs> tiny nima look at me <laughs> yeah. hey jack sorry about that <coughs> no i haven't been able to buy anything yet i'm not high enough level for the expansion for the license sorry and i don't have enough money for the expansion that's what i meant to say tommy boy thank you very much for following on twitch uh, so yeah, this is a bit of a, a slow episode, I guess. It happens. We need pepper and we need cereal. Damn, which one was it? Sorry, I... The honey one. Mix that up completely. There you go, pepper. We need uh, two little bread, actually, and some yellow chips. Bread. 
One moment, please. And honey, because I got it all in my head. Tommy boy, thank you very much for subscribing on Twitch. Thank you, thank you. The honey changed too. I'll just make it 12. There you go. Thank you very much, Tommy boy. The, the, yeah, it is a bit of a grind. Yes, I agree. But since I'm talking to you all, I'm, I am enjoying myself. I hope you, to, you all are too. Just getting a bit of a stiff back now. <laughs> Stretch a bit. All right, we need a uh, one potato and old flour, basically. Uh, that's the blue flour. Add the red flour. Add a potato. I also need to pay my bills. Um, we don't need ketchup. That's the only one. So give me oil, give me mayo, and give me hot sauce. There you go. I ordered the beer. Do we need? Yeah, we need some booze. How are we in the pasta? We need all the pasta and all the rice. Okay. Everything. Everything. Hmm, okay, just going over the over the order there. Okay, let's put this in the shelves and check then. Simone, Simone, thank you for subscribing. Now, my dinner was a while ago, though we had uh, Taco Ball. And that always means that I have the leftovers for like after the streams There's still time to reach 200 likes i don't know if they can do it it's 166 right now we need 34 more maybe maybe they can help me out <laughs> would be nice every little bit helps your laptop graphics card isn't good enough. Uh, I'm, not I'm not exactly sure what the requirements are for this game. I mean, for me, it's running very smoothly, but that's easy to say when you have a high-end computer. <laughs> not really fair there. <laughs> Don't distract me, that's Missy and Max job. <laughs> Not everyone wants to chat, some people just lurk and it's all good. Lurkers help a lot too, because the more people that watch, the more people are tempted to join the watching. It really ha it really works that way. If you find a streamer that has like two people watching, there's not a lot of people who will join in and see if it's good. So it's it's really hard to get started in the business. You you need people to get more people. It's really hard. I was just lucky, honestly. Had some help. Already knew people. They watched. They chatted. You know, it, it draws people in. I never started with zero. It's a big help. Oh, 175. That was fast. Only 25 more. Well, we have 225 people here, so we can do it. Requirements, 4 gig RAM. Is that minimum requirements, Rob? A GTX 1050, really? Huh. Yeah, I guess it depends on the engine you use. A lot of the newer engines will probably not work on older systems in general. Sure. Low by today's standards, but uh, high for such a simple game. 
But then again, optimizing games, a whole new skill set. But I've seen a lot worse than this game. <laughs> uh, Kaira, thank you very much for subscribing. I'm your favorite? Well, thank you, Mickey. It's really awesome to hear all of that. I think it's the first time people have been telling me that. That they prefer my streams over other people. Big, big compliment. And I'm enjoying myself. It's fun. Even though this is a little bit of a grindy part of the game. It's all good. I just yap to you guys. You guys yap back. We're all good. <laughs> so don't get bored. I still prefer it above over uh, like mining and Minecraft. <laughs> Because we can clearly see progress, right? We're making money. We're throwing with boxes. Oh, hold on. A little bit more this way. Oh. There you go. <laughs> the throwing the box is a little bit of a joke. Uh, And she's old and cranky. Just like you! <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, it's really such a running gag, isn't it? Look. I love a sandwich. You're a sandwich. You know, those kind of jokes. I love that. <laughs> oh, absolutely, Mickey. I think a stalker would be so much help. Right now, I'm just trying to get as far as I can by just doing things by hand while still making the stores look pretty yeah and another reason i don't really mash the shelves together and make more space for items is that i'm probably gonna need to put some stuff back you know, make in a smaller space just to fit in the new products. Because I think, oh, maybe we can make it. I think we can make it to level 42. Let's go. Because then we can buy the, um, either the, yeah, I think we're going to get the cleaning goods. But I'll probably need to put, either just put some cleaning items here in the store, just for a little bit, or mash some stuff together. Yeah, because the sugar together is definitely two aisles, and we don't have that space anywhere. We have two... Uh, sorry, two whole shelves. I mean, two whole shelves. We have two shelves empty here and two here. No, sorry, four here. This chips is a boring space. But not enough to really move anything out of this aisle. Because I want to keep the tea and coffee together. We want to keep the sugar together. Oh, the milk. We can move the milk. That's really the thing that doesn't fit there. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. We're definitely going to need space for that. Uh... Hmm, how can we make more space? By the cleaning stuff. Is this shelf? Oh, I, I should not have done that. I forgot about the box on it. Does it take as much? It takes less space. Hold on. No worries, there wasn't anything on there. Move the chicken. I just wanted to compare the space it takes. Okay, so we could definitely put another shelf next to this one. If I move a freezer. Where do we move freezer to? Yeah, <laughs> good question. We don't have space, do we? Uh... Uh, sorry, Dirty Rogue, thank you very much for following. I was just thinking... Do we have any leftover space where we could put... No, we don't. So... I can either put items just randomly in the store until we can fix it. It's not a problem for a little bit. Um, 
Or I put the chicken back in one freezer. I don't really want to do that though. Chicken's pain. Hundred and seventy seven likes. Um, yeah, here's what I'll do. Let me, I'm gonna move my next stream just a little bit. Like half an hour. It's pretty late, that's okay. Save. There you go. Just so I can... Hold on. And pause that, very good. Get my chat back to the front. So I really want to get to that level 42. Whether I can then do things in the store or we'll do that next time. Either way, we'll reach it. That way we at least have a goal today. I like that. And then we know that tomorrow we can, uh, if everything goes according to plan at least. <clears throat> we can set up the store i'm not making it really i had like eight thousand earlier what happened to all the money because <laughs> i haven't i just remembered i haven't paid my bills either there you go ching gone Dirty Rogue, thank you very much for subscribing on Twitch. Thank you, thank you. Let's add another shelf to that shopping list. Because we're going to need that shelf. I just don't know where to put the freezer. Or I give up doing the register for a bit. Until we can buy the extra upgrade. I don't want to... A second floor? I don't know. I should really take a closer look at the planned updates. And the thing is, there's, there's they're just plans. There are no dates, there's no schedule. They're just basically, this is what we want to do in the future. No, the yogurt is full. There we go. Um. Oh, sorry. I didn't see that, Kiwi. I was just thinking out loud. Uh, chocolate and candy next to the chips. So that's... That's two aisles, though. Well, we could put the milk there. I mean, for a while. Oh, across the cereal. That makes sense, right? We can move that sugar over here and then put some cleaning stuff in this little corner of the damned. Um, <laughs> I think that would be easier also for future moving things around. Yeah, once that shelf is full, I won't be able to do that anymore. I'll just have to put it outside. Like a... Like a chump. I try. I think I tried it before, though. Put it outside. Oh. No, doesn't look like uh, that works. I don't know uh, how they did that, Steve. But I tried. Oh. Oh. 
I tried that too, Saprilla. That's uh, that indeed was a good idea, but it didn't, didn't work. Oh, there's actually still bread in there. I thought the same thing. And Steve too. Well, yeah, I don't know why they can do it and not me. Maybe they placed it when there was a little bug in the game and it was possible and that, you know, we don't touch it, it just stays there. to see if it works despite it being red but no what if I just squish you all hold on um Yeah, that's enough space. I think we're gonna go a little bit further even. Hold on. Put the freezer here. We'll do that. We'll make do. Uh, which freezer? The outlier is the crab sticks. Okay. Uh, I mean. It's a tight fit, but it works. Hold on. So where would it come? Sit them. There. And then we put you. Mm. Oh no, that doesn't work. That's the shelf is a little bit. Okay, fine. That works. Well, the thing. So here's the thing. In the future, we're gonna obviously do like a complete makeover of the store. Um, we're gonna turn the shelves. We're gonna move the cashiers. Um, so right now, I don't want to spend two hours moving things and you know twisting things around until things fit. I would prefer to do that like one time and then maybe once we have some some more upgrades again. Oh, not this bullshit again. It's actually, for that little bug, it's the best idea to just have one shelf or one fridge or one freezer spot left open. Otherwise you need to toss your box. The next store expansion is 16,500.
Oh yeah, hold on. Let me stack this back up. And I needed to check the price changes. I, I caught a couple, but we don't have all of them yet. Don't think. Just a couple more likes to 200, everyone. It would be amazing if we could make that before the end today. Yeah, I have a fishing sock. Hey, I had an element. Um, you would ask one thing of the dev at... Yeah, definitely. Add a picture of the products on the site. I agree. That would help a lot, especially in the storage shelves. Oh, right. I forgot to... I forgot to share this picture, didn't I, of this, uh... Because you can fit more than one box per spot. Depending on the size of the box. Okay, what what did I have on order, except for the shelf? Um, sugar and pasta. Push that in a bit. Um, anything we want to add to that? Honestly, uh... Did I not order bleach? No, I guess not. I should. There you go. Mm, pretty full, pretty full. Uh, yeah, we got the powdered sugar. Don't think we can fit a whole box of the other sugars there. Honey doesn't fit a whole box either. Yeah, we got the backup there. Looking good. Oh, cause... oh my goodness, I muted just in time. I had to sneeze. I bit my tongue. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Um, bum bum. Yeah, let's get some of the white water, I think. Did I not order the mimoletta? There, that's that's good enough. Uh, that's still no, that's unpacked. Well, they can wait. Let's open up. Oh my god, it doesn't fit lengthwise. I didn't think to check that. Um, yeah, that means that if I put it this way, we won't fit a freezer there. All right. Um, come on now. So what... That's a shame, though, because I would have liked to kept the, the cleaning stuff together. But yeah, I can't put it there. I can't turn that. Turning the freezers also doesn't really work. Emergency shelf. There you go. I can wait a moment and finish this up. <clears throat> uh, space is the, the big thing. Yeah. Not yet, Rob. Uh, that is correct, yeah, the... I need to add a hook, but the last time I tried, uh, it didn't work. Like, you could... The thing is, you can only add the Twitch subscriber role, like the YouTube member role, once... 
Discord sees it and Discord didn't see it. So he didn't see me as affiliated. So I thought I'd give it a bit of time. But thank you for the reminder for me to try again. Yeah, only a little bit till level 42. We're definitely be able to do it today. As long as we made some profit, because uh, my goodness. I thought we had 8k, now we have 4k. Hey, Glenn. You got a, uh, a sub yesterday, very nice. Lots, lots of general, generous people. Not general, generous. Hello? Mm. No, I think the next one we'll unlock is the, the cleaners. They're generally more profit than things like sugar and coffee. I mean, I don't, I'm not sure, of course. I don't, I can't tell, but I think it's a safer option. Plus, if I added sugar and coffee, I'd want to, like, rebuild all the products again. And that will have to wait until I have the next space upgrade. Oh, boy. We need 11 more likes to get to 200. Surely those peeps are here. Big white wall of doom. No change. Hey, Fao. Cat in a box. Yes. But yes, there is a role coming for uh, Twitch subs. Definitely. I did immediately look for it. It just wasn't possible yet. Everything went so fast. Because I got to affiliate and... Um, in inside a week and then of course I filled in all the forms and then the next day I was immediately affiliated and I don't think uh, Discord had cut up yet it might be it might have now give me like 10 seconds hold on put this back on present there we are um bum -bum. integrations No. I remember YouTube being really easy. I just don't. No, I'll have to figure it out how that works. I don't know. I don't know why I can't just see Twitch and add it. I might have to reconnect it. Maybe that's it. Uh, the cashiers aren't really that fast, but it doesn't matter that much because everyone gets to... Like, no one leaves because it's taking too long, right? Everybody gets the pace for their groceries. Uh, impulse buys. Yeah, but we would... <laughs> indeed, it was mentioned before that we should have the candy rack at the... At the register. But I would just love to have, and um, yeah, I built myself in there a little bit, uh, any kind of different size shelves. So indeed, a tiny shelf to put right here. Well, that's not going to work, actually, because this basically is where the... If it doesn't fit on the belt, it hangs in the air here. But I don't know, maybe a tall one right there, something like that. Something you could add to your register. With indeed all impulse buy. Buys. There is there are books coming, but I don't know if they mean actual books or things like magazines. It was Screech Owl. Thanks for looking that up, bro. Seven more now. Did you just count upwards, Rob? That's that's not supposed to happen. Seven more likes. Add some uh, 
add some different size shelves for this. Like I would love to have uh, a bread shelf that generally looks a little bit different than a normal shelf. Because you basically, you, the, we don't put breads right side up like that. We lay them down. I don't know if that's different elsewhere. But we have like a, a shelf that is uh, in an angle downwards with a little board at the front. So you put the bread down in, you lay it down in that shelf. But you can still see the top. But the next bread that's behind it will fall down, basically slide down to the front of the shelf on its own. Kids books? <laughs> well, that is typically something you would buy at the grocery stores, to be fair. Oh, oh, we got them. We're level 42. Perfect. It's 9 p.m. Uh, I'll buy it when we're closed, because if I do it now, they'll start asking for the products. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I still need to play Pumpin uh, Simulator. I, I, I missed that one a bit. Well, I didn't, but I didn't get a key, so I let that one roll by. But it's clearly very popular. I actually bought it on sale a while later. Definitely want to try it out. Yeah, sometimes you have a day that you don't make a lot of profit. Um, one, I had to pay for... Uh... Oh, well, you can... I actually forgot to check my products again, didn't I? I need to do that before we go to the next day, otherwise I'm going to miss it. Might have already gotten them, though. Yeah, because there's the milk. I did that one. Honey. Coffee. I don't have that one, actually. I do hope we didn't get any complaints. I don't think so. At least I didn't see anyone complain. And the sugar. So the uh, milk, sugar, honey. I think I already got that one. This milk. And this sugar. Yes, okay. Oh. Wow. Jesus, how much, how many goods do you have? Yeah, a lot. Hmm. She doesn't have very expensive goods. So it's not going that high. Just got an update again? Yeah, she. Th that all fits in this little bag. I don't believe it. Uh, yeah, before we make more mess, let me check these boxes here. Hold on. Get rid of some of the leftovers. I prefer to do that before we do anything else. Sometimes you move, need to move stuff around and then those boxes will be in the way. Sugar is not priced. Yes, it is. The, it's just above market price. The fact that it doesn't give me enough profit. Yeah, can't really help that. Until the price goes up again. Um, I don't know. This is, it's such a weird bug. I don't, do I have any empty? No. No. Okay. Yeah, I, I can't save either. Throw? No, it's just broken. Okay, goodbye. It's fine. It was just like four pizzas. It's an annoying bug, though. Oh, 
always the wrong aisle. There you go. Uh, the gamble thing, so you earn some points by just watching and chatting. Uh, bonus points by subscribing and becoming a member or a follower a, or um, a subscriber on Twitch, obviously. And uh, you can play games with them. Yeah, it's only 90 cents profit, but I can't really make it much more expensive. Nobody is buying this tea. Well, it's well priced. Got that. Put it on the shelf in the stock room. I'll remember that for next time. Thank you. Indeed, I didn't think of that. The last time it happened, I didn't have the uh, the stock room nor the stock room shelf. Okay, last few boxes here. Potatoes. Anything over here? Yeah, the beer. But not enough. And rice. Right, let me see. So the choice we have is the cleaning items, obviously. Uh, this is all for the fridge. Now, I don't have space for fridges right now. That's going to have to wait. This is also a lot of fridge and some coffee and sugar. So we're going for this one first. They're all the same price, right? They're all locked at level 42. So let's do that. Uh, you know what? Let's skip the day to the next day. Mm. Hey, I thought it was fifty six hundred. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Um. Yeah, we didn't make a whole lot of profit there. Uh, spaghetti. Price change. Okay, let's set up these new products. Um, okay, so another bleach. Cleaner. Dishwasher tablet. Another cleaner. Dish soap. And another toilet paper. I bought one of each just so we can set up the shelving and it's gonna be a pain. I'm gonna have to move those cleaning tablets to one shelf again. Yeah, this is just gonna be toilet paper. Okay, first things first. Uh, what box are you guys in again? Yeah, this one. Move the milk. Uh, maybe just go over here. Ah. Of, of one chip. Sorry, I keep thinking cleaning products, but we need to move the milk first. It just doesn't fit a lot in the box. Mm, we have a half a shelf over there. Again. Oh, 
Okay, luckily that chip is not... Uh, one bag of chips is not going to be a big problem. It can just stay there for until we can make space. Yeah, you both need a uh, smaller box. Hold on, I got them in storage. I love that you put sugar between uh... <laughs> I doubt it's actually sugar. Come on. It box a bit odd than that one. Oh, one more like. Who's gonna be number 200? Okay, let's get this layout down. Because I still got another stream as well for Hairdresser Simulator. The game is coming out tomorrow. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I can't reach the damn sugar. There we go. Alright. Let's... Yeah, we need to... Hold on. I'm going to need to squish these together again, unfortunately. So be it. In the future, we'll have like a whole cleaning aisle. But for now, we need space. Let me think. How many items, new items do we have? Six. So one. So the paper needs a shelf. So two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we make do. Okay, so this is, yeah, we're gonna need to move something. But the bleach in the back there makes sense to me. Oh, yeah. Well, this can just go on the shelf. We'll keep that toilet paper there and put the other toilet paper behind it, I think. Is this chicken? Yes. Okay, space mate. Okay, the question is do we want this. Hold on, let me test the bottle here. Which one do we want on top? This one looks bigger, so we'll put that one at the bottom. Same size box, nice and easy. So we have more dishwasher tablets and more cleaning spray. Oh, did we have two kinds of cleaning spray? Ah. Uh, I shouldn't worry about it all too much. I would love to have it all perfectly set up and all equal products. But right now, it's a big battle of the of the space. My goodness. Yeah, so here's the other toilet paper. I'll put it here. Yeah, I'm going to definitely need to order more of that. This is just a setup from where do we put what? Let me see, because this is dish soap. That can wait. Cleaning spray. What is that? Come here. Like a toilet cleaner? I think so. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, here are the other tablets. The question is, which one do we want on top? Hold on. Yeah, 
Yeah, I did it the wrong way around. <laughs> Luckily, it is super easy to do a little switch around here. There you go. Okay. I mean, obviously, we need to order more of the products, but for now, that's good. Um, so, yeah, I have this one. Oop, oop. Let me put this in uh, storage because <clears throat> I use those boxes for the cleaning tablets. Now we have some empty ones again. Yeah, this can go because it's all set. And we'll put the dishwasher, not the dishwasher, sorry, the washing liquid, dish liquid, dishwashing liquid. I guess that's it. <laughs> Is this bleach too? Did I mix something up? Um, is this detergent? Did I mix them up? Yeah, I did. I did. I sewed it. You're absolutely right. Um, easy fix though. Hold on. The, the fact that it's in the same box as the other bleach messed me up, basically. Is it this one? Is it only, only six per box on that one? I didn't put anything else. Okay, until we can buy some more. This is good. This is a nice layout. All right, I'm really happy. We still got uh, got to the point. Hey, randomized. Hello, hello. Well, it says it's cleaner, but I agree. It does look like uh, either conditioner or just uh, detergent. I think the the fabric conditioner actually had actually actually called fabric conditioner. But yeah, so I, I was looking at it like, hey, this doesn't make sense, but it's fixed. Yeah, you gotta love the I just realized it's called Doo Doo. Hey, Johnny. And thank you everyone for over 200 likes. You would prefer to put this over there. You're not wrong. Unfortunately, I don't have the time right now to... Well, yeah, I do have the other stream to go to. This is not much, though. Um, what box are they in again? I agree, though. Oh, I, what I really need to do before I end it tonight is change the pricing. I think I need a bigger box though for the detergent. That's not going to fit in this one. Oh, I didn't mean to uh, put it down for a moment. Let me grab a bigger box. Uh, this one, yes. Nope. Mm, this one? Or was it? No. The fact that it was in the biggest box was what messed me up. Because this was the only... Only bleach was in this box. Oh, hold on. Okay, let's move this real quickly. 
Yes, the price is exactly. They need to be changed. Okay, but not here, because those are done. Then we just need to move these. I have a crabs and ice cream. That doesn't sound like a very pleasant combination. No, I don't know what you mean, Dollar. <laughs> yeah, it's getting bigger. It's uh, the 16K, though, is going to be a doozy for the next space upgrade. Okay, there you go. Self-care is now at the register as requested, and I do agree. So we put the detergent over here. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to put the empty box back because we need them. Let's do a quick price check on the new items. Check out the profit. Uh, two something, two euros. Hmm. Five? That's not great, is it? Three? No, I was expecting more profit, honestly, on these. Jesus, how, uh, how expensive do you want your toilet paper? Mm, 660. Is that better than this one? Yeah, it is. Well, it's not bad. At least it's better than the 19 cents. <laughs> oh, license of crabs. I, uh, that's what you meant. I don't have space for freezers. I'm, I'm, I am really, really out of space. And I'm not entirely sure how to fix it without just buying more space. Oh, so you're the one who told me to go for the cleaning product. So that's really mean to come back on that now. But everyone will have to check on all of that tomorrow. I changed all the pricing, didn't I? Yeah, could we move the mill? Could we check that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, no, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven new products? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm counting something double, but at least I'm counting too many, so it's all good. Four, five. No, sorry, five, six. Okay, no, we're good, we're good. I got them all. <laughs> you could use a loan. Yeah, probably. But yeah, you can't loan enough to loan 16K. And it would probably cost you like five thousand dollars, so no, that's not a thing to do. You work in the supermarket and then you come watch this. <laughs> hmm. No, I'm kidding. It's uh it's very satisfying this. But so is working in the supermarket. If people would stop taking stuff. But <laughs> of course that's the whole point. It's Yes, that's the plan H, unless uh, if something in that changes, I always let people know on the Discord. But if not tomorrow, then the day after. I do need to go grocery shopping tomorrow. And honestly, <clears throat> I don't try not to complain about it much, but I have been sleeping so badly lately. I'm so tired. But I am going to play some more hard... Uh, hard <laughs> What's the game called? Like I said, I'm really tired. Um, it's one of those days. I can't think of names. My goodness, Nima. Hairdresser Simulator. There we go. We are going to play some Hairdresser Simulator in 20 minutes. And I do need those 20 minutes to use the bathroom, grab myself a drink and stretch my legs a little bit. So we're going to wrap it up here. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for 200 likes. I hope you all join me in that game. It is very funny. We're going to build uh, a hair salon 
like we're actually gonna like set up everything paint the walls all the good stuff clean up first of course and then we're gonna have customers come in and we're gonna wash their hair and cut their hair and uh, the demo was good fun i'm really curious to see what changed in between so we got our new goods unlocked we have more goods to unlock but either i need to shovel in the store like crazy to get more space or we just need to buy a space upgrades but i hope you all come with me um it should simply take us all to the next stream on youtube twitch of course you can just stick around you can stay let me i'm gonna link the stream in youtube just in case the the sending you all on doesn't work there you go just in case but i hope you come with me enjoy that game it's coming out tomorrow so we're getting an early look always fun thank you all for over 200 likes we're actually one on one right now 215 to 214 likes pretty much a one-on-one -on -one. and uh yeah i'll be back with this really soon i really just i just really want to get to the point where i have a big store and have everything set up as i want to have it and you can't really do that until i have more space and more products so it's gonna be fun freya you want to say hello no she just want to get on her warm blanket everyone i'll be back in well now it's 17 minutes and i will see you all in just a very short while Ha, <laughs>